awaiting 2020 records, I'm cleaning up my closet of 2019. Wait, should I say mid 80s? I know I've promised this review and people were asking me if it would show up, so okay, here it is. When I first heard Drop Majesty, I honestly was fooled it was some forgotten band from the 80s and uh, I grew up listening to music from the 80s, so I'm kind of an expert in that. I am an expert to this level, I can tell you that their first album Careless sounds precisely like it uh, went out in 83. And their second album Demonstration, it sounds like either like end of 83 or 84. It has two catchy tunes in the first part of the album, like chart level catchy. But what really makes that uh, really significant is the remix part. Well, nostalgic fan may not enjoy it, but from a music reviewer perspective, it's hard to overlook how perfect copies of the 80s songs suddenly got uh, contemporary electronic arrangements. At this point, Drab Majesty were more than just a blended smoothie that consists of Joy Division, Tok Tok, New Order. I don't know, Exmal Deutschland, uh, the Pesh Mode, the Cure, obviously. They were more than that. They were also not a modern synthwave act like uh, this French scene or Canadian scene, like, you know, Mary Davidson and some others. They brought new quality to something that we already know for a long time. So I had big hopes for Modern Mirror, however, 2019 was the year where a lot of good artists released weaker albums and when i was listening to modern mirror for the first time i found it underwhelming yeah i was even ranting on twitter uh, <laughs> i have a twitter account now so you can follow me and of course subscribe to the youtube channel here for more independent music reviews so modern mirror reaches further in the 80s timeline it reaches to i would say 86 honestly at some point i even heard some pet shop boys in it and in my opinion 86 is the year where the new wave gets like wishy-washy kind of and the offered sounds and melodies are simply not that captivating for me anymore uh, the second go at this album however was more favorable and i had more pleasure and more fun here i have a list of the songs so i don't mix up with the titles dialogue is a dark synth intro with vocal overlapping it creates atmosphere but then <laughs> the next 10 minutes go elsewhere Already the second song, The Other Side, is a synth poppy song uh, that could be actually released by New Order and it sounds like something that I used to hear always on the radio before I went to school in the morning. Ellipsis is a bit more like that, just a little less catchy in your face. Noise of the Void is a gothic synthesizer ballad. I hear some Depeche Mode. Then Dolls in the Dark, it's a song with... Um, where you need to dig a little deeper to get to it. It's hooks because it has the hooks and um, it has, I think, also the best vocal delivery or second best on this album. Oxytocin is another up-tempo song and Long Division is uh, more dream poppy. However, it's the closing track out of sequence. Uh, the closing eight minute tracks is the most interesting to me uh, because it has this eight minutes to develop everything. It has uh, guitar hooks, synth hooks, uh, deep voice. It has this change in tempo, nostalgic melody. The melody is pretty but not cheap. And at the end there is an outro to the whole album. Uh, this release will be a treat for all the middle-aged people. I mean, I, I say this with no offense, I'm one of those. For people who want to find more stuff like they used to listen to. So my opinion on ripping something off so clearly is that I don't mind it, as long as it's, uh, it keeps quality, as long as it's, it's good, then it's good. And I think Drop Majesty achieved success in uh, extracting the essence from the 80s and um, creating new songs out of it. And all of these songs could be released as singles and could uh, count on being successful in the 80s. All of these sound like radio airplay back in the times. It's an album that will take some time to get to your head, but it will. I definitely upped my rating after the second listen. However, there is only one song that offers me uh, enough style and substance both that I would like and this is the out of sequence last song. If all the songs were that long and uh, progressive like that, I think it would be a really really good album. But it's, it's still very nice and good to listen. Well, I mean my original rating was 5 out of 10, so now it's higher. And the demonstration, I think it remains my favorite uh, Drop Majesty album. Okay, so I'll see you next time with something else. Take care, bye bye.